child. Now, y'all know that these people don't ask Scarlett her opinion of Darius Williams. And, honey, I've been sighing that ass for quite some time now. And you know what? He's been with the bullshit so much that even Randy Travis, Fox 5 News special reporter, has got involved. Violated multiple short-term rental rules plus a city ordinance when he hosted a paid event last month in Atlanta. Because of previous problems, Airbnb tells the Fox 5i team Williams is already prohibited from using their properties to hold his Dining with Darius events. Uh, Fox 5i team reporter Randy Travis returns with more on what he uncovered. Randy? Russ and Courtney, when we last talked about Williams, otherwise known as Darius Cooks, his company had a failing record with the Better Business Bureau. And no, Randy is not lying. I actually went over to the Better Business Bureau. And yes, Darius do have a F. He has an F. And it looks like either he do have some people that really do care for him. And he does have some people who can't stand his goods. Let's read some of these reviews. So I wrote, on March 29, 2021, I placed an order with Darius Cook LLC for two physical cookbooks. On April 6, 2021, I received a notification that a shipping label had been created. A month went by. I emailed the business to ask where, uh, where my cookbooks were, and I received no response. I called my post office, and they said that I had not received any items. On May 19th, 2021, I sent the follow-up email to which I received no response. On June 1st, 2021, I sent another email. I did not receive a response. On June 8th, 2021, I sent the email to his business Facebook account and did not receive a response there either. I commented on a post that someone else was having the same issue that I was having and he blocked me on Facebook. I want my money back and my cookbook. Someone else wrote that they have been following Darius for years and they have purchased several items from him and they've never had any of these type issues. Hmm. And he used a puzzling strategy of posting private information of those who criticized him or asked for a refund. Well, now there's this. On top, we have fried chicken croutons. That's Darius Williams in this video posted by a fan on YouTube, shot last month in a house in Collier Hills. So a little smoked ribeye for you. Williams charges $215 per person for his Dining with Darius events, soon to be $289 next year. He pushes the events on his social media pages, some that claim more than a million followers. Now listen, baby, I can admit, I have been an avid watcher of Darius Cook over these last years, and I have recreated some of his food, and it was quite tasty, I might add, but he kind of rubbed me the wrong way when I was listening at how he was responding to someone who was talking about they wanted a refund back for some things that they had purchased from him. And in some ways, I think I made a mental note in the back of my mind because for whatever reason, I have not clicked on a Darius Williams video in quite some time now. And for all these things to, I know what it was. It was when he came with this credit thing, when he called himself trying to help people do things that they could do for themselves cleaning up their credit and it seemed kind of scammy to me and i was like damn di dude you trying to do everything to get all the people money and there's nothing wrong with that if you got a business go for it but i feel like if you want to run a business you need to have great business practices so that you wouldn't find yourself in this type of situation because randy is on that ass. and believe it or not the whole while i am doing this video i am getting darius cook notifications popping up over my um 
iTunes account. Like, child, I can't believe this. But um, I even thought about doing the Dining with Darius thing. And from what I hear, a lot of people are complaining about getting their money back. While on the Better Business Bureau, I was reading some of the people's reviews. And they were saying that when COVID struck... They were not able to actually do the Dining with Darius thing, and they were requesting their money back. He did give them an offer that they could rebook for 2022, or they can request a refund. Well, some of the people were saying that they requested a refund. And if you're going to offer a refund, just give the people their money back. From what I was reading on the Better Business Bureau, the people were asking for their money back via email the way that he requested that they do but their re emails were never responded to and they were having a hard time getting their money back even with disputes to their bank and when they would see darius live he would block them but house rules on the short-term rental site verbo say no events are supposed to be held at this atlanta home and the maximum number of guests is eight there's a lot more than eight in this video Williams booked this house for six nights. So he had all these tables set up in there. Oh, wow. Toby Jackson manages the house for the owner who works out of state. I come before the guests and after the guests. But you don't expect 30 guests in this house? <laughs> no, I, I, no, sir, not at all. An Atlanta city ordinance also required Williams get a special event permit if alcohol was being sold. That YouTube video shows everyone enjoying a red drink and the person who recorded it laughing on the way home that the red drink sangria is kicking in now. We have blurred her face. When I checked the ordinance, it said that if you're serving over 75 people, you have to have a special permit to serve alcohol. But when I went deeper into it, it said that if you're selling food and beverages and alcohol is on the menu, then you do have to submit a request for the ordinance, a permit. So yeah, he needed We tried talking to Williams at that same house a few hours before his paying guests arrived. For someone who goes live on Instagram multiple times a day, he wasn't in a talking mood. Come on, I thought you liked being on television. Where are you going? Contacted later, Williams denied violating any Verbo rules, but would not provide us proof he told the owners what he was planning to do at his home. He also would not directly answer whether he served alcohol. The owner has since listed the house for sale. It's clear Williams has used the accounts of other people to book the locations. Like my first week working for him, he was like, oh, I'm having trouble getting into my Airbnb. I don't know what's going on. A former worker made this TikTok and later sent us proof that she agreed to use her own Airbnb account for Williams dining events in 2016. Imagine my surprise when less than a week later, I get an email saying, hey, you owe every Airbnb $10,000 because you trashed this person's house. She told the homeowner Williams was responsible and wound up not having to pay the damages. A spokesperson told the Fox 5i team Williams is prohibited from using Airbnb. If you're a business owner who f***s up your reputation on Airbnb, you don't have another driver's license. You've got to find another sucker to use their account that's in good standing to continue your business. And I have to be honest, if it wasn't for Spunky Brewster... I wouldn't have never known that any of this nonsense was going on with Darius Cook. Because like I said, for some reason, he had started rubbing me the wrong way on how I saw how he was treating his followers. And the fact that I felt like he had a scam going on with his credit. In business. February, a Dallas, Texas Verbo owner called police to remove Williams when she says she realized what he was doing with her home. She said Darius had blown the electrical system by hosting a commercial kitchen dinner without her permission. Uh, the homeowner wants us out of the home, um, and we don't know why. <laughs> Williams made sure to go live on Instagram to accuse the homeowner of being the real bad guy. That outlet also doesn't work. He canceled the rest of the Dallas events, his customers reaching out when they did not get promised refunds. No response from you at all, and no refund for the two tickets I purchased. I am out $430 and a plane ticket. How long will it take to get my refund from the Dallas event? 
He blocked me immediately without responding. Baby, when I tell you Randy Travis is on that ass, see, one, I don't know what the fuck you did to these people. You have really outdone yourself, sir, because of it seems like a whole bunch of fucking lying. Like, better business practices. Like, if you're going to tell these people you're going to give them their money back, then do that. Legitimate businesses will quickly respond to a customer who complains that they didn't get what they paid for. But Darius Williams routinely ignores complaints to the Better Business Bureau, often blocks people who try to reach him through his social media sites, and then employs a tactic that no legitimate business would dare consider. Now, here we go to the fuck shit. Here we go to the doxing. Like, if these people only knew, see, I know about doxing. Darius, you know doxing ain't good. Because Darius, you know, doxing ain't good because of, you know, we have a mutual friend. You remember when I met you that day? Yeah, you know. Remember, Darius, mm -hmm, how d these people phone just kept ringing, 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 ringing. And I, I thought you sympathized with her. I really did. Uh, but it seemed like you're a good liar, so maybe you didn't give a fuck, because look at what you're doing. It's called doxing, maliciously posting someone's private information. When Danielle Holland anonymously criticized Williams for how he treats his customers, he responded by tweeting pictures of her children. And you put this damn woman chilling on the internet? Darius, what would you... You got a cookbook out there called My Grandmother's Recipes. What would your grandmother say? You put in the poor innocent children in the whole mix? Darius, you should be ashamed of yourself. I see the caption that he put, which was tell Danielle Holland, we, said, we say hello. Williams also made public the cell number for the owner of that Dallas house who called police when she realized what he was really doing. He urged his followers to call or text her. <laughs> he later posted this Instagram video, a, bragging that the response a, was so great, police asked him to remove the phone number from his page. That was, baby, when I tell you, y'all lick that phone up. Child, you ain't hear no shit. Well, according to his schedule, Williams is actually in Savannah this coming weekend for another Dining with Darius paid event. He's going to be serving alcohol. Let's hope he gets the right permits. and. I also hope that he's told the homeowner exactly what he's going to be doing with their property. Oh, yeah. I mean, you mentioned that Airbnb has already taken action. Has Verbo weighed in on this? No, apparently he's still allowed to book through Verbo. Uh, but that Texas homeowner, the one who called police to have him kicked out of her house, she said she tried to get Verbo to ban him, but they said just post a, a bad review about him. So she did. And she posted this. He is the worst guest by far I have ever had. Wow. Well. No one wants to have their phone lit up for making a legitimate complaint. Yes, it doesn't sound like that's a proper way to run a business, does it? No. No. All right, Randy, thanks. Thanks, Randy. It's childish, it's irresponsible, and it's bad business practices. And if these people knew, I don't know what, you know, sometimes I feel like a lot of times we as the consumers we fall in love with these social media influencers and we put aside the fact that they're human and they will fuck us over too. I'm guilty of it too. I have my favorites. I stand up for a whole lot of people. And I can guarantee that Darius have a following over there that's backing his every hateful mean spirited move i bet you if somebody come down in them comments and say one bad thing about darius they jump all over them like white on rice and i know this video is not exempt to them coming over here and putting all they little hateful bullshit up on the hill either but baby your bitch ass will be blocked and if you don't get anything out of this video i want you to remember that you could be subject to the heinous and hateful acts that he has put on others 
who trusted him just as much as you.